Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, today is a tips and tricks video for remarkable owners and it is especially useful for remarkable owners who are also users of the My Daily Organizer or MDO and also My Deep Guides Meeting Planner. So MDO and MMP users on Remarkable, you're definitely going to want to watch this video. All right, so the first tip is going to be in regards to the ability to duplicate pages. I don't know if you knew that, but Remarkable allows you to duplicate pages within a PDF document without disturbing the hyperlink functionality. So what that means is that you can, in practicality, for example, let's say that you're in May and then you're working in week nine. Now, each week within the MDO has weekly notes and it has one dedicated page of weekly notes. But say that you maybe want more or you need more than one weekly note. Well, all you need to do is you go to the uh, document overview and this is our current page. So that is the page that I would like to make a copy of. Long press and then just simply say duplicate and it will automatically create a duplicate and now you're going to have one two as you can see page 58 page 57 and you can have two weekly notes without the hyperlinks being broken or anything like that so the document actually functions exactly as it should now, this is really, really powerful because it can be used not only for weekly notes, but also for daily notes or my notes or my lists. And in combination with another tip or the second tip that I'm going to show you, um, it's actually really, really kind of cool and it gives you a nice overview. So let's say in uh, this day, 16th of May, there's uh, two daily notes, but I need to have four of them, right? So then I'm going to go to daily notes two. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to go duplicate, wait until it's finished and duplicate it once more. So now that I have duplicated this uh, weekly notes page, I will have week daily notes one, daily notes two, daily notes two or daily notes three and daily notes four. However, because it's a duplication of this page, uh, all of them say daily notes too. So this leads me to the second tip that you can use, which is you can use um, the marker brush and you can actually make it white and uh, a thick uh, uh, brush thickness to actually erase content from the uh, templates that are here. So in this case, I have my daily notes one, daily notes two. Now this is the second page, right? So 673, 674. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply paint white over the number that I want to get rid of on both of these, right? Go back and use my fine liner to just make sure that I am now on daily notes three and if I flip the page, daily notes four. And this way, I've actually expanded the functionality of MDO. Um, and now I have four daily notes for May 16th. And all of them actually work still normally and can go back to the uh, daily notes and everything else. So that is a really, really good way of doing these things. Another thing that you can also do is that you can use the same trick. For example, let's say that we're working from seven to three and that you don't like doing the uh, scribbling out, that it's ugly and you just don't want it to be messy like that. Well, in that case, you can also use the same thing with the marker trick and then you can just simply take off the one that you don't want. So for example, this one, of course, uh, you will be able to do it much more precisely. I am doing it very imprecisely here because of the camera angle and how I'm recording this. But the idea is not to get away, not to take away from the line. And basically, if I use a little bit of a thinner marker for the yeah, marker brush, then I have more control over it and then I don't have to actually take away the line as well. So that's uh, tip number two, that you can use the white marker to erase erase template uh, content uh, from MDO or indeed any other planner. 
And the last tip for this video, or tip number three, is going to be in relation to adding notebook pages to your documents. Now, if you go into a page overview, right, and let's say that you wanted to add a page, you can press this icon and it will add a notebook page and that's that, but it doesn't have an option to add a template. So as such, it has a very, very limited type of usability. And it's something that, yeah, in, in most cases, this is not something that you will want. However, there is a way to go around this. And the secret to this is remarkable. Actually, share, shares the clipboard memory between notebooks and documents. So what does that mean? Well, let's say that I can create now a blank notebook, notebook and that I would like to insert a gridded page into MDO for a certain day because, I don't know, I'm doing some engineering thing or something. I needed a grid template and MDO doesn't have it. So I will create a notebook with a grid template that I want, right? So the next thing you do, I'm gonna go to the notebook overview, long press on the page that contains the template background that I wanna use. And then I'm gonna use the function move. And you can actually move this out. And now I can navigate to the document that I'm using, and that's Monday cover one. And in here, I the only thing that I would have to do is I would need to remember where the page is or eventually move it somewhere else. And let's say that I want to paste it uh, basically right after the page 1299. So I can have place after. So I can go here and now it has actually pasted that grid page as page 1300. So now I can go cancel and I can tap here and this is page 1300 and I have the grid and this was actually placed right where I wanted it which was right after the daily notes too for the October 19th I have my grid page and the cool thing about it is that once you've added it into a document you can now just duplicate it within the document and move it around right so if I wanted to have another gridded page I can use the tip one that I've already showed you I can just duplicate it and now I have two grid pages actually no not go to page but just back there we go so now I have gridded page number one gridded page number two and then I go back to the daily diary. So that is a really, really useful way of doing these things. Another thing that you can actually do is you don't have to copy just one page as a template. Another use case scenario of this whole thing or the share clipboard memory is that you can take notes, multiple pages of notes, even type text in a different uh, um, notebook and then simply move those pages into your um, uh, MDO and associate it with a certain day. So these are really not that meaningful. So this is just simply content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna select all three pages because some are typed, some are actually handwritten, and I'm just gonna move them. One thing that you need to remember is that move function is a real move function. So these pages that you uh, take from a notebook, you are removing them from that mo notebook. So when you return to that notebook, it's gonna be an empty notebook. So if you would want to retain the copy of these, then you would actually make a duplicate and then move the duplicated pages into where you want. That way you can preserve the same pages in a notebook and basically copy them over into your MDO, MMP or whatever it is that you're interested in. So in this case, let's go back to Monday cover one. And I guess we were at page uh, 1299, if I am not mistaken. So I can just go to that page and now I can paste after. And now that that's pasted, I can cancel because we're done. I can go back and there we are, October 19th, right? So now October 19th, we can go daily notes, page two. Now we should have this, this we just pasted from our uh, uh, notebook, handwritten and just typed documents. And if you are actually using a type folio, then you can continue why did I capitalize C there? Continue typing 
uh, in the page on your MDO or MMP. Uh, not MDFO, but just MDO. And one thing that maybe some people don't know, so now we're just flipping back and you can see that we are in uh, MDO still. And for example, maybe for some reason, you would like to add a typed page. And in that case, you can just go to page overview, add a blank page, and then just start typing and have the typed text show normally in the newly added page in your MDO or MMP. So that is a really, really powerful way of actually utilizing everything that uh, Remarkable has to offer and basically uh, centralizing it all into one document. So, okay, one, one thing, uh, the added page, when you do add a page, it's going to add it at the end of the document. So that's why when I went previous page, it got me to the copyright page, which is at the end of the document. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. I prefer actually copying a page in there, even if it was an empty one, and then, uh, yeah, just simply uh, yeah, moving it where I need to. And in this case, this is where it is. So now I can take it and then I can move it uh, to the page. Yeah, that was 12.99. We can go there, we can select the 12.99 and then we place after it. So now we've moved it properly and now we should have it, there we go. So after the daily notes two, we have our newly blank added page for typing. Then we have three pages that I copied from a notebook. And then we have two gridded template empty pages that I've also copied from a different notebook. And then the next one is the next daily diary. And then I can actually have all of these links still working, going back to the daily planner, just enjoying using the MDO or MMP. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can use it. This, this technique works on any PDF document. And since both MDO and MMP are uh, PDF documents, it works there. So yeah, Hopefully these three tips help you get a lot more functionality and a lot more usability out of uh, MDO or MMP on your remarkable device. Well, I hope that you found the video useful and informative. Um, for me, I think that it's kind of important to uh, summarize what are all of the possible use cases uh, out of all of the functionalities that Remarkable does have. Because even though it is a simplistic platform, it's still simple and it's still limited and all of these things, over time it has grown in functionality. And um, these functionalities are there for the user to discover and kind um, yeah, uh, see how they can actually apply these things. But I've noticed that not too many Remarkable users are actually aware of being able to do pretty much majority of the things that I've shown in this video. So hopefully you found it useful and interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. And if you own a Remarkable, and if you are a remarkable owner and you like these tips and tricks, but you don't know of MDO and MMP, My Daily Organizer and My Deep Guide Meeting Planner, well, then head on over to the mydeepguide.com slash shop and you will find all of those products there. And My Daily Organizer 2024 has just launched. So you are able to actually get the MDO 2024 or a bundle with 2024 and 23. And also the MMP is available there. If you would like to learn more about either of these products, check out the links in the description below and you will find dedicated playlists for both of these products. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.